guys, it's Full Cards here, Lava Direct from the City of Angels, California. And from me today, I have a box of 2002-2003 Be a Player Between the Pipes. This thing's hype. We're going to play it like a bagpipe. Uh, this is old school, man. I think Between the Pipes started in 2001-2002. This would be the first year of the Between the Pipes that includes goalie autos, even though they're uber rare, unfortunately. I think there's only 2,000 in the entire set, more or less. Uh, and it is the second year of the mask cards. Uh, and this box, I believe, is replete with mask cards. Unfortunately, I think it only has one uh, game used memorabilia within it. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So configuration, five cards per pack, 24 packs per box, which would amount to 120 cards. Base set would be their typical, prototypical uh, tier checklist. You have the base cards one through 72. Then you have the prospect subset, which is 73 through 110 the Enshrine subset, which are the most interesting ones, 111 through 120, and then the Home and Away subset, which would be 121 through 150. There are parallels. There's the Silvers numbered to 100, the Golds to 10, and then there are also the NHL All-Star Silvers and Golds numbered 101. Those are rarity and scarcities. So the inserts we'd be looking for would be the mask cards. Those are guaranteed. We'll definitely get a few of those. I don't know how many. And then in terms of game use, of course there's jerseys, but there's also some trappers, pads, blockers, stick and jerseys, and some really rare autos. Uh, the totality of the autos, as I said, is in the 2000 range. So that's basically it. Let's see if we can uh, crack this puppy open. Uh, what I find most interesting is there's actually vintage goalie memorabilia within these, and that would include Johnny Bauer, uh, Crozier, Jockamine, Bill Durnham, George Hainsworth. I mean, if you could hit those, I think they're only numbered to 20, the vintage ones. But can you imagine hitting a Hainsworth, a Cheevers, or Espo, or a Jacques Plant, Charlie Hodge, Glenn Hall, Roy Werders? Uh, so there are some really old school vintage ones that we would be on the lookout for, but I believe that they're very, very rare uh, to hit those vintage, vintage, super vintage ones. And of course, I'd be really happy if I hit a Vlad Trechak. So let's look at these things, man. They're like super white, uh, pretty cool looking box. And let's see what we have. Bang. Man, look at this. I've been wanting to open this product for a while. So let's do it in style, guys. Okay. Uh, nice cards. Very be a player from this era. So Chechmanic. Uh, and so this one here is a, he shoots, he saves, I think. This would be a redemption offer. I assume these are the typical decoys that we get within these. So we have Kolzig, and we have Jaguar, and this one here of Jason Elliott would be a prospect. So these are the tier checklist, you can see 39. So this would be the base, these are the home and away, and these would be the prospects. Tier checklist, uh, this means they're all base, but they're sort of in different, uh, different sections of the checklist. And you see, so we have this one, and then we have this one, both Ole the goalie, uh, different parts of the tier checklist. So this is the base one, the other one was the, uh, the home and away. Continuing on guys, we have a Jocelyn Tebow. This is thick, and so that would be the redemption decoy. And here's our first mask, nice. First mask card, and as you can see, it's Kippersoff. and these are sticking together a bit. There's Toscala, and we hit the George Vizina. Uh, so this would be the Legends Enshrined. Really nice card. One of the nicest space art, if not the nicest space. Ooh, we have a congratulations. Hmm, should we do it now, already? Hmm, I say we put it aside. I'll do it after I do these two rows. Hang on, guys. Jocelyn Tebow, a decoy of uh, Sean Burke, Patrick Laleem, home and away, Josie Theodore, home and away, and a Damien Rose. It's very easy to have Goldie Mojo. It's the guaranteed Goldie Mojo. Okay, so Dieter Koken, a decoy of Nabokov. Jason LaBarbera, who also played on your Kings, I believe. That's a prospect. These are really sticking. 
a really, really cool one of Chuck Rayner, and then Ron Tugnut, Marty Biron, a Bobby Lou who shoots who saves for decoy, Thomas Bukun, one of the highest save percentages in the game, Eric Fichot, Habs Prospect, and Michael Garnett, and that would be a prospect. And if you guys are wondering who are the top uh, goalies and wins all time, it would be Marty Boudreau, then Patrick, then Bobby Lou, then Ed Belfour, then Marc-Andre Fleury already, he's fifth overall, sixth overall is Lundqvist, then Cujo, then Sawchuk, then Plant ninth, and 10 would be Tony Esposito. So that's all you need to know about that. There's Martin Brochu. We have this Math Mathieu de Guerin, uh, well, we actually have a Markinen prospect. And there's the Garon, the Redemption Offer, and this one of Jamie Storr. A few more packs and I'll do the uh, hits, as we see the hits so early. Okay, we have Neil Little. We have a He Shoots, He Saves. And that would be Lameem, I believe. We have a Tommy Sallow. And look at this one of Brimsek. Really, really cool. These enshrined are by far the nicest ones. They're all very foily. The ideal would be to hit an auto. They're really, really hard to hit though, as I said, uh, given how few, there's two checklists with autos, but they're numbered to either 90 or 50, I believe. Uh, Manny Fernandez. We have a Hedberg. We have a Prusik, who always sort of does his best dominator uh, routine. Jim Peltier, and a Brent Johnson. I have opened up a lot of the Between the Pipes products, but I've been wanting to open up this year because it's the early incarnation thereof. It's a pretty famous year of these things. They're a bit overpriced given the fact that you don't really get many hits. In fact, you only get one hit plus the mask. There's Sean Burke, uh, the Super Czech Manic. We have Happy Bull at Home and Away, and Mark Denis, Home and Away, as well as the Chris Mason. These packs open up fairly easily for a change. There's Tommy Salo. Oh, cool, we have another mask. We have our second mask card. So we have Tommy Salo. Uh, we have this Happy Bull and Redemption thingy. And this one, what do you think, Di Pietro? And it would be, in fact, Di Pietro. Okay, so that's our second mask card. Uh, these mask cards, the base are unnumbered. Uh, there are silvers and golds, though, which we'd be looking for. There's Charpentier and there's Corey Schwab. After this pack, we'll do the hit. No, oh, I think we have a Jacques Font sighting. We have Marty Turco. We have this Kolzig Redemption. We have Ed Belfour Home and Away, as well as Bobby Lou. And here's our Jacques Font base card. Really nice, really nice foily gold looking card. So let's do our hit now. Um, I'm hoping it was who I thought I saw. I saw one card and I didn't know whether it was a base card or what it was, so we'll see. Uh, so this is our hit, guys. So we have Jamie Storr. We have Stéphane Valiquette. We have Alex Ald. And here's the hit. And I'm pretty certain I know who it is already because I think I saw it. So what do you think, guys? Let's do it. Guys, <laughs> it's it's a Patrick Roy. Woo! Oh my God, it's, it's a duel. Nice. It's a Patrick Watt and it's a Josie Theodore. Dual jersey. Nice. I couldn't have hit a better card unless it was a stick or um, a blocker or something. Uh, I assume these are jerseys, unless they're blockers. Wait, did you guys see what it says? It's jersey. It's a jersey. It's a jersey. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. The perfect card. The perfect card. The thing about Patrick is everybody says now that Marty's first all-time in wins. He is, but Patrick's first all-time in wins in the playoffs. So that is even better. And he's first all-time in Consumite Trophy. So what are you gonna do, you know? I mean, he's as good as you get. We got Rolly the goalie. Speaking of Patrick, so we have the Patrick, he shoots, he saves. These are actually pretty cool. I mean, they do, they are cards. They're like big paper, uh, cardboard cards. Maxime Wouet, Home and Away of uh, Henlinka, and the Craig Billington. On. So we hit the Patrick, which is really, really nice. I can't complain about that. Continue on, guys. We've got Chris Osgood. We have Arthur's Urbe. 
Brzgalov, a Tim Thomas, wow, with a different mask, that's kind of cool, and Brian Boucher, Boosh, who I believe is an analyst now, He's not with uh, NBC. Okay, we have another mask card, guys. So we have a Jose Theodore, we have this Marty Brodeur, and our mask card, we'll see who our mask card is. Chichmanic again, Hodson, and our mask would be Felix, you think? I think that would have to be Felix, right? Really nice, we hit the Felix mask, excellent. So we received, what, three masks at this point? So I was hoping we would receive four, five, maybe even six uh, in this early incarnation of Between the Pipes. Continue on, guys. Ruben, there's another Podvin, it's the Redemption offer. Oh cool, we have an Enshrined, they're the best ones. We have Lassic, uh, Mark Lamotte. These are all the prospect ones, the, the names you don't recognize. And there's the Glen Hall. There you go, Glen Hall Enshrined. See if we can spike anything else. I'm not optimistic other than mass cards given sort of how not stacked these old uh, configurations are. We've got Habibulin. We've got Laleem. We have the Home and Away of Marty. Jamie McLennan, who's uh, with uh, ESPN, not ESPN, with TSN. And Olivier Michaud, perhaps Prospect. You know you're not really up in the bigs when you only have stickers on your mask with the emblem. Okay, we have Rick DiPietro. We have Johan Hedberg. We have Scott Clemenson. We have Byron Defoe as well as J.S. Giguere. Travis Scott. Roman Chichmanic. Sean Burke, home and away. Steve Shields, home and away. And Levente Super. And in case you guys are wondering who's first all time in shutouts, of course it's Marty. Uh, and then everybody knows there's Sawchuck who had 103 in his career. But after that, it would be George Hainsworth and Glenn Hall. So it would be players of the other era. Shoutouts were more common. There's a Cujo. So that would be a base Cujo. There's Felix Podvin, Home and Away, Donfus, and Valiquet. I feel like we've gotten a ton of Valiquets. So Jack Thont would be fifth in shutouts. Then Dominic Hasek, sixth. Tiny Thompson, little tiny Thompson. Bobby Lou and Belfer, by the way, are ninth and tenth. Uh, I think Bobby Lou has 77, had 77 in his career. Dan Blackburn, before he used two blockers. Turco and Gar Snow. And hoping to spike another mask card, and there we go, we do have a mask card in here. We have Bobby Lou, we have Turek. Uh, we have Dan Cluche. Look at this Terry Sawchuk. Terry Sawchuk played with the Leafs in 64, 65, 66, that era. Uh, so definitely played good three season with the Leafs. Leafs, really, really, really cool card. Really, really, really cool card. So lo and behold, it would be Henlinka would be the mask card, the base mask card again. We have not hit a gold or a silver mask card. So now what we'd want to hit is a silver mask card. It would be the last ideal thing if we could manage that. David Abisher, we have a Jose Theodore, we have a Simon La Jeunesse, we have an Andrew Raycroft and a Jeff Lebe. Last pack guys. Uh, not expecting anything but maybe hoping for a mask card. Uh, that would be ideal but who's, who knows, eh? So let's see, maybe not even. Oh we have something. Oh I know what it is. It's a base insert I think this one here. So let's see, so we have Robert Esch. We have Mike Richter, and we do have some base insert. I totally forgot about these. And the base insert would be, oh, we hit an autograph. What, these are really hard to hit. Oh my goodness, look at that. We hit a Felix Podvin autograph. What, these are not guaranteed. This is a case hit, guys. These are numbered to 50, I think, automatically, instinctively, uh, thoroughly, completely, totally. Boom, hit the auto. 
hit the auto. You do not get autos in these products, in these old products. There's, as I said, there's only 2,000, I think 2,240 maximum. I think the autos are, these are numbered to 50, and I think the, the old school ones, the vintage ones are numbered to 90. Uh, in terms of print run, and we hit the Felix Paw event. This is absolutely sensational, phenomenal, given given what we're supposed to get in this box. We do not get autos in this year. Wow, that is cool. You, you notice too, they're not called goalie graphs yet. They're called goalie autographs. Boom, bang, bong, bing. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, what a denouement. That was awesome. I can't believe that happened. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay guys, time for the recap. So, I kind of enjoyed the dinner of that one. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, I will be doing a box break giveaway next break. Uh, so stay tuned for that. There will be hits in it and stuff. So, with regard to our He Shoots He Scores decoys, we received a stack of these, a nice pack of these. And these are actually kind of thick, and uh, they could be considered cards, if you will. I mean, considering they do have a Patrick and an Herbe and a Boudoura and a Longo. Uh, why the long face long go? So boom, those are that. And we received our blue foily prospects. I don't think we received any of the parallels, unfortunately. Uh, you may know a couple of these names, like the Toscala or the, uh, I think Mason's in here. A couple of decent ones in here, Michaud, Pascal Leclerc. So these would be the prospects. And the base cards, here are the base cards. They look very similar. I think they're just a different color blue. There's the long go, there's Jose Theodore. Uh, heart winner Jose Theodore and I'll just place those there and we received six of the ten enshrined so 60% of them they're really cool these are the nicest card with this gold look Brimsek there's Jack Pont ninth all-time in winch uh, Sawcheck second all-time in shutouts Vizina Rayner and Glenn Hall so there you go Glenn Hall who I believe won the uh, con Smythe in defeat and we have a stack of the home and away also on the tiered base checklist these are kind of cool looking too again i don't think i have parallels in there you tell me if i'm wrong we scored four of the mass cards kind of cool unfortunately none of the parallels again so we do have the hinlinka there's felix the cat di pietro and that would be kippersoff with san jose uh, cool so we received four of those not a bad haul at all to build out that particular checklist and we received the Inspirations dual jersey of Patrick Waugh and Jose Theodore. So this is kind of awesome. Uh, they print these only to 40, I believe. So there's only 10 on the checklist. So there's 400 total of these Inspirations uh, jerseys on the checklist. And we happen to hit the Patrick Waugh and the Jose Theodore. I think there's actually a Jean Plante with the Patrick Waugh as well. Uh, but this will do fine. <laughs> And the hit of the box, we actually scored an auto, which is really rare because I think there's a maximum of 2,240 on the checklist, probably more like about 2,000. It's hard to know exactly, but these bad boys were printed to 50, uh, and there's only 25 on the base goalie autos checklist. And this is one of the best ones alongside, I think, Roberto Luongo, uh, Chris Osgood, Curtis Joseph. It's definitely one of the best ones we could possibly hit to hit the Felix Podfin. So there you go, we hit one of the 50. This isn't numbered to 50, but it has a print run of 50. So I'm super, super, duper, duper elated. This is before autos were really included in the uh, hobby boxes. They were just more like case hits, if that. So there you go, uh, pretty cool, interesting product. I did well, uh, of course I do well because it's a goalies product, so I'll do great. Uh, but I did better than expected, so there you go. So guys, please be sure to stay tuned for my next break because I will be giving cards away. Uh, please be sure to sub, like, and hashtag drive. I'm Full Cards Live and Direct from the City of Angels, California. Mm -hmm.